Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Digi and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Tesla Woman Must Die badge. But before you keep going, shout out today goes to EliQN Vasilev YX5YF. Thank you for being first and commenting first. Alright, so to get this badge, what you're going to do is you have to go to the default map. You must. There's no questions, if, ands, or buts. Maybe buts. But... Go ahead, choose any character, it does not matter, and head over into this area right here, okay? It's kind of exactly the same when we were getting the what badge. The sus phone is right here in the corner. Go ahead, pick it up, have it in your hand, use it, that's sus, you're looking at a picture of Tesla woman, but then it will then teleport you to the next area, which is the boss fight. Now, you're probably wondering, Digi, this is the same thing. It is. It's pretty much the same. Go ahead and skip all this, blah, blah, blah. We'll go ahead up here, like so. Then it's going to tell us our powers have been disrupted, blah, blah, blah. We're going to then fight the two toilets down here. So, boom. Just go ahead and fight them. And then fight the next one. Oh, woo! Oh, my gosh. Almost went out of the map. Then we go into the second spot, which is where the badge kind of starts, okay? So, first, let's clear out these guys. You're going to want to clear them out. Trust me, if you don't, you might regret it, okay? You'll see why in a bit. So go ahead, clear them out, boom. Once you've done that, you're going to see this item here. It's Tesla Woman Must Die Interact. I don't know what's supposed to be in there, if it's a cup. But the moment you interact with it, you will get one HP. If you look down at the left down here, one. Literally, you get hit, you die. Now, before I go into the fight, let me go ahead and show you guys some of the screenshots of and tips on how to fight him. So when you see this pop up, this whitish aura ring halo, and it's quick, it's sort of like a little boop. That means he is able to be, I guess, attacked, parried, either one. You can attack him when he's like this. But then you can parry, which is either using your melee attack or your stun gun or your Q ability if you're on keyboard. Um, that's your long range attack. That means you can then parry him. The next one, this right here, when he's glowing like this, like a mist red, that means he can now parry or counter your attack. So if you use any melee or long range attacks, he will block it. It does not matter how fast. Or how crazy you do it, he will block it. Then, when you see this reddish ring right here, not the target one. That's your long range um, attack on him. But the ring around it, the circular one, that means he's about to attack. That doesn't necessarily mean you can counter it, alright? Some of his abilities you can't really counter, so when he does his long range attacks... With his discs and the red balls. You can't really counter those. But the next one you can counter. Or there's actually a couple you can counter. Is the dashing. If you time it just right. You can counter him. And cause him to I guess go down on his knees. But the next one right here. You see this big red circle right there. That is kind of like death blade. Or, or blade ball. Whatever that game is. Where the ball comes at you, you gotta hit it back. I've done it only once during the Roblox event. And um, right here, you can then use either your melee, but I recommend saving your range attack for this, okay? Because it'll make it so much easier. That will then send it back to the brown telescope and causing him to also go down to his knees, allowing you to go over there and smack him around. So there you go. Those are some tips and tricks on how to fight him. And pretty much is always the same rotation. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try for you guys here. Um, I already have the badge, but let's see if I can recreate it. So, right there, boom. Go get out my scythe. So, you got the white. You're going to want to use your abilities, your dash, and your flying. Ooh. Duh, duh, duh. I'm probably going to die here. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Alright, so wait for his dash. The dash one is a little difficult because you got to get the timing just right. There we go. Ooh, there we go. Boom. Alright, see that death ball? Boom. And then that sword just, well, usually that knocks him down. 
uh, it usually does but it did at that time all right so he's now able to be parried however we can't now all right oh where you go where are you so yeah it's right there see how he just did like a little block Ooh, hoo -hoo. oh mama mia he's right there behind me so yeah that's pretty much all you gotta do i do recommend saving your long range attack because that is going to save you so much trust me where is he oh there he is all right boom all right this is probably your best summon attack is when he's doing his long range attacks like so okay come on so yeah that's pretty much it guys um Oh, wow. Those. Also, you want to avoid those, by the way. <laughs> you do want to avoid those. But again, you got to do all this oh, without getting hit once. It's hard. But like before, you can click retry and it will send you back to the beginning where you then got to fight the toilets or the toilets, the boxes. And you have to re-interact with that item every time. So remember to interact with that item before you go and fight the boss if not then you know you won't get the badge but if you did then congratulations now you get an item which will then allow you to enrage brown telescope let's go ahead and check it out all right so you got the badge but you still need money in order to get the brown telescope or enhanced brown telescope you still have to have the points required which is ten thousand pp pretty big pp so you need him still in order to then become the enraged brown telescope so once you go ahead and select him or buy him we will have this functional phone <laughs> it's got a picture of tesla woman now the moment you use it boom it actually activates him into enraged brown telescope telescope man that's right what does it say you stare she stares back you feel motivated <laughs> are you sure he's enraged i don't know man but here we go now his abilities do change they are slightly stronger so obviously we got the electric tape which i believe is about the same the damage might do a little bit more then if we go ahead and fly and do air dash yeah that's uh that's pretty intense then we got q which is the double tape grenades um yeah classic and then we do q again while flying there's a little explosion behind us and then we have the debuff if we press g oh nope i clicked f my bad wrong button <laughs> if i press g that's the debuff and then if i fly it's the distortion wave um i did just not doing anything hold on there we go boom distortion wave same thing this is where it gets interesting ultra slash if i press z you're 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 not going crazy all right your eyes are fine boom oh what what the heck what happened Yo, no, 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 no. When I did it last time, it did like the whole screen. All right, this whole area was insane. Oh, wait, we're not enraged anymore. Hold on. All right, so Ultra Slash, here we go. Now, what you see is what you're getting. Wait for it. Boom. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. That's a spicy meatball. And then X is immune, which essentially is the same thing. See the red glowing thing around him, the mist? That is the same thing as the counter attack. So any toilets or boxes that attack me, it will counter them. And, you know, that's pretty much self-explanatory. But other than that, that is all for today, folks. If you enjoyed, then go ahead, leave a like, subscribe down below, and join the badge hunting squad today. Use star code DIGI whenever you buy Robux or Premium. And as always, stay awesome, stay cool, and good luck badge hunting. Bye bye.